Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now today you will be in my personal bathroom. I am getting ready on how I do my own makeup before I go to work, before I go on set. And I really quickly just want to mention, um, when I do my own makeup, I just want to look super simple, very natural, kind of pulled together. Um, it's not about me when I work, it's all about my clients. So I want to just look very, you know, understated, but still chic and sophisticated and very simple. So so if you want to see how I do my makeup, keep on watching and enjoy this video. So let's get started. I have already prepped my skin with SPF and moisturizer and in the morning when I get ready in my bathroom, I always like to wear my robe and I have my hair clipped back with these Harry Josh clips. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is moisturize my lips because I always love doing that. The one I really like is by Kosas at the moment. Um, I really love the packaging and I do that because it gives my lips time to sort of absorb the product and then later on when I do my lips, then I stay moisturized. Alright, so for foundation, when I go to work, I don't like to wear a full face of foundation. Um, I like to look really sort of understated and natural when I go to work. So what I like to do is because most of my problem areas in my skin is my T-zone. I get really red and I like to cover that. But sort of like the outside of my skin, I'm really happy with the way how it looks. So I sort of like focus on the T-zone. I have a new product here by Milk. Um, I love a stick like this because you can literally work out of the product or out of the container and put it on top of your skin. So I start by just applying it directly out of the bullet on my face like that. And the way how I like to apply it, lately I've been really loving this new Artiste brush. It looks like that. And all I do is I sort of like buff it into my skin. I just also want to mention that I really pulled it down on my neck because I feel like this is my problem area. I really love how smooth it looks. So for a little bit of extra coverage, um, I'm going to show you this new concealer by Milk. And what I do, it comes with this little spongy applicator. And all I do is I put a little underneath my eyes, on my eyelids, and then around my nose where I feel like I'm the most red. And then I take a beauty blender and I buff it in. I don't use too much concealer because I feel like it ages me. So I'm like super, super sensitive to concealer. Just as much as I need, just a touch. So for my brows, um, I when I go to set, I, again, just really want my makeup to be super simple and not a lot of fuss around it. Uh, in order to get my brows bright, I like a product which performs quickly. Uh, that's why I really like this hourglass one because you can like really quickly create, you know, fake little hairs on your brows. And the way how this pencil is shaped, you can use the thin side for more precise application and the thicker side for like a more quicker application. Um, I'm just sort of like filling in my brows. And again, this brow, you know, goes really fast and it's very effective and it just gives me a little bit more definition. Again, it has the thinner side where it can be more precise and the thicker side where it can just like sort of like, you know, go through it really quickly to create a little bit more dimension and texture. And the great thing is it has a little spoolie on the other side where I can brush it up. And then I go right in with my boy brow. And this one is the shade blonde. And I love putting that on top of it just to create a little bit more texture. And it also puts my brows into place. So for my eye makeup, I really don't do a lot of eye makeup when I go into set because I just want to look again very sort of like natural. But if I do something on my eyes, it has to be really quick. And for that, I like to use a liquid or a cream eyeshadow stick, something where I can just use my fingers. I'm going to show you this new product by Kosas. It's really great. Um, it's liquid and it comes with a little applicator like that and you can just put it on your eye directly on both sides. I mean literally two swipes and then you can either use a brush 
I use my finger just to sort of blend it in and it just gives a little bit of an interest on your eye and it's really quick and super natural. And if you really feel like or if I really have that extra time, I might just put a little bit of a pencil. I really like this new one. It's super creamy by Chanel. I actually like putting it a little bit underneath my eye because believe it or not, when you have deep set eyes or if you have bullet eyes and you add a little bit of color underneath here, if you see between here and here, it just like opens up the eye more. So I just put it a little bit there. And if you really feel like you could also put it a little bit on top on your lash line, but I'm not going to do that today. One thing I cannot live without and one thing I will always do even if I am just doing a little bit of foundation, I always put mascara on because the older I'm getting, the less lashes I have and I feel like that really opens up my eyes so I really take time to do my mascara. For that first curl my lashes, I've already done that off camera. The one I like to use is by Surat Beauty and I have a new mascara here by Revlon. It's called So Fierce and I really like it because it has a really awesome brush and uh, I apply my mascara you know very close to the root of my lashes and I just pull it up. I really like this mascara because it gives me a lot of length and fullness. I'm also putting it just a touch on the lower lashes but literally just like you know bettering them on just with one stroke. All right, for blush, I love a cream blush, especially when I go to work because it just makes my skin look more youthful um, and it's again super easy and uh, you can use your fingers and the one I really like and I haven't really shared with you guys but this is definitely a staple in my personal makeup routine, it's the NARS Multiple Sticks. This one here is the shade Portofino, it's such a like well-rounded shade that fits with so many different skin colors and skin tones and again I love it because it is super easy all you have to do is really like you know place it on the um, apples of your cheeks and you can literally use your fingers with it or use a brush or a beauty blender I like to first go in with my fingers and if I really feel like it needs more blending I actually go in with my foundation brush and sort of like make it like really seamless and make everything tied together. So I go back with my my artiste brush, which is right here, and then you sort of like just you know tie the edges into your foundation. Now for bronzer, this is a step, you know, again, if I have the extra time, um, I like to bring in a bronzer just to like give my face a little bit of definition and shape. This one here is a new one by Chanel, I really like, and I sort of like mix the two colors together and I just add a little bit of definition into my, you know, cheek area right here, temple, a little bit in my forehead. Another thing I like to do, again if I have the time, is to use the same color of my bronzer in my eye makeup just to add a little bit more definition into my socket, especially for those girls out there who have like me deep set eyes or have hooded eyes. This will give you a really nice shape and definition. For powder, I'm not a big powder person, but if I feel like I'm, you know, right now I'm a little shiny right here, I go in with my favorite powder by KFO. It's the Press Powder. And I love this powder so much, A, because it looks beautiful on the skin, but I also love the packaging and it fits so perfect into my purse. It's super small and thin. So that is my go-to uh, powder. And I like a brush like this, not too thin and not too thick. And I like the way how it's tapered because I can get into all the sort of like, you know, corners of my face. And so at this point uh, in the game when I'm doing my makeup, I really just have my lips left. So what I usually do is I brush my teeth, 
um, I sort of like finish off my hair with a little bit of a curler and I go change and then I do my lips so let me do this really quickly and then I come right back to you and I'm back I just changed um, so this is my absolute favorite work look I wear jeans which you can see just regular jeans blue jeans or black jeans and I love a white t-shirt or a black t-shirt and I usually put a blazer or a sweater over it depending on the uh, time of the season but you will always see me in t-shirts because I just feel like super like you know understated and I don't want to make like a big statement with my clothes so that's my outfit um, and to end it like I usually wear my hair either in a bun or I leave it open depending on the, the you know how good my hair is on the day so for my lips I like to keep them super natural what I usually do is I do a little bit of a liner because just to make my lips a little bit poutier the one I love by Charlotte Tilbury is Pillow Talk and I usually just line them like right here just to make them a little bit puffier if you say so I don't line my whole lip I usually just do that part and then I go in with my new hourglass I'm obsessed with these glasses they come in so many beautiful shades I love the applicator and it has like a little bit of a minty flavor to it again it's so natural just to give me a little bit something on my lips and one more thing I like to do is I always wear a little bit of perfume now I just want to mention that perfumes is a sore subject because some clients probably don't like if you smell too strong um, if I do use a perfume I literally like spray it not even on me just a, a spritz and I walk into it um, but it depends on who I'm working with if someone is really sensitive I won't wear perfume um, I have a whole perfume collection which I'm going to share with you guys at one point. The one I'm really into at the moment is um, this brand. It's such a beautiful packaging and it's called House of Silage and it has so many different flavors but this one here is Passion de l'Amour. Again, I literally just spritz it and I walk into it, come back all right one more thing i want to mention i always bring a makeup bag with me something just the necessary things i like this bag because it's bendable it's cotton i can throw it in the washing machine after i always bring a touch-up lip just in case if i go to a meeting or if i have a work dinner after work the one i'm liking right now is this one by chanel i also bring another eyeliner just to tight line my eyes and that's a really quick way for you to just sort of like update your day to nighttime makeup and I also bring a pair of heels and I usually wear a blazer which is the one I'm wearing right now for work or I bring a nice sweater. Uh, one thing I do on set is I always wear flats, something like a sneaker or a flat shoe and then I just change into a heel if I have a work meeting. And this is the way how I look when I go on a set. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now I'm off to go on set. Let me know what you think about this video. Maybe one day you want to come with me on set and see what it's like. And uh, I'm off. See you guys later.